Hi everyone. Um, I'm getting ready to do uh, an abstract in cold wax and oil. And uh, I have a 12 by 16 piece of Arches oil paper. And again, it doesn't matter which side that you paint on, on the oil paper. You can paint on either side. It's made for oil, so you don't have to gesso it. And I have taped off two sections. I don't know if you can see my tape in the um, camera or not, but I have two uh, taped off sections and I should be able to mat them to 9 by 12s So um, that is the plan right now. And um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a, a Mieser Meister uh, bowl scraper and I'm going to put on my first coat and let it set up a little bit and I'm going to use Indian Yellow. I have decided to use uh, just one color and that is Indian Yellow and I may put some orange into it later to make it more orange. I haven't decided yet. Plus black and warm white. Uh, and I will probably add a cool at the end. I haven't uh, decided what cool I'm going to use yet, so just depending on how it goes. So I'm going to, uh, and I put it on my scraper like so, and I'm just going to put it all over my piece. doesn't matter to me if it's uneven or anything like that because it's probably not going to show anyway. At least most of it will not show. And you know what I was going to do is I was going to put some marks down first and I forgot to put my marks down on this one. So I will put some marks down on the other one. Now, as you can tell, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, thinking. And that was just a pencil. And if it smears a little bit, I don't care. I should be able to complete these fairly quickly. I sell a lot of these in my studio because I just I sell them matted. And then all they have to do is to put them into a frame and uh, it's uh, done. So um, I'm gonna let this sit up for a little while and I shall return. You know what I'm going to do? There. As you can see. Put it on afterwards. No problemo. So I'll be back in about, oh, 20, 20 or 30 minutes. I just want this to set up. Believe it's going to dry this quick. almost dry, dry, dry hard. In, in probably about 25 minutes. First of all, because the um, Arches oil paper is very absorbent, and uh, second of all, it's a, a lot of dry heat going on in here right now. So what I'm going to do I'm going to use my Mieser Meister scraper I'm going to bring this down just a little bit further. Hey, Linda. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Can't complain. Thanks. Just It's kind of playing more than anything. Yeah. 
I like the different angles that I have going on here and you can do that with the scraper. Just by just by putting more pressure. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to wipe that. I'm going to take off this excess paint, put it back on my pile so I don't waste it. And I'm going to go into, I'm going into my warm white. Make some big blocks of warm white. And one nice thing about taping these down on the uh, freezer paper is that you can move it. Put some white over here. Or I should say some warm white. That's what this is. It's warm white by Gamblin. I like it because it's a very soft, soft white. constantly wiping off my bowl scraper with some paper towels. I do want to reestablish this line right here.
color I'm putting on next is has the same same color as this. It's Indian yellow, but I added a lot of warm white to it. You can see that even though there's white in it, it's still transparent. Happy with this one so far, not happy with that one. I don't want this line to go up to the corner because it would lead your eye out of the painting. I'm going to add a little bit of red to that orange. just to make it a little bit more orange, brighter than what it is. I don't know if this is going to be the right color or not. Yeah, I like that. not happy with this. Cover that up a little bit. I like that better. This is kind of a warm gray that I'm mixing up. It's black and the warm white with a hint of the Indian yellow in it. Ooh, that's an interesting color. like that. It's uh, very unusual. Let's put some of that over here. Where are we going to put it? Ooh. I want to make some more of that was uh, black, 
warm white, and Indian yellow. just made these marks with my palette knife. To make this more interesting. Now, this is going to come off because I don't like it. Maybe just a hint of that red. This is too long. Everything is long here. I need to go across this with something. Just mess it up a little bit. That's better. And the second time I mixed this up, it was a little bit lighter. So I like it like that. Put a little bit, put a little bit right here. Just a little bit more over here. like that. So that's, this is going to come off. A line through here. The reason why I like to put that um, transparent coat on first is because I can scratch into it such as that. All of these marks I took back to my original One of these, I think, should come over to the tape. I'm not sure where that tape is. We're almost to the tape. something dark in here. I'm 
Now I am going to draw some of, some of my lines back in. Just making some building blocks. Okay, I'm done fooling around. Uh, right now, I don't know if I want to put any cool in it or not. <clears throat> I'm going to take the tape off and see what it looks like. And then if I feel that it needs some cool in it, I will um, put it in. Right now, I'm going to take my gloves off so I don't mess it up. A lot of it is putting it on and taking it off. Putting it on and taking it off. mess that up but that's okay the mat will cover it up I don't know how that happened
Wow, I thought that went down the whole way down to there, but it didn't. I'm not going to put any cool in it because this color right here appears to be a lot cooler than the rest of it. And I think that's going to be enough. I like, I like all my little scratchy marks here. And I think the only thing I'm missing in this one is a black spot. Like right there. Yep. Oh, I like that. I like the shape of that. That's so different. So what do I do? Mess it up. See if we can fix that. I don't know if I like that or not. There, I like that better. Yeah, that works. make one of them one of them a little bit wider yeah okay there you are and I'm going to take a picture of it I like it a lot might put a little bit more of this odd color in through here somewhere. Yeah. I changed the value of that. Can you see that? I added a little bit more white into it just to make it a little different than the rest of it. I am tickled with these two pieces. So there you go. I don't know how long that took me. Um, maybe 30 minutes. But I have two nice paintings and what I'll do is I will mat them with um, a 9 by 12 outside. So it, 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 it's going to show up very nicely. Thanks so much. I think what I want to do is put a little bit of something. Keep your hands off of it. Okay. I'll give you a head on. I'm not sure which is top and which is bottom yet, but we will see. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. That's done with one color, which was Indian yellow and and uh, warm, uh, warm white and black. That's it. If you haven't subscribed, I sure would appreciate it. See if we can put this up straight. Thanks. I've Merry Christmas. To add a little bit of black to this corner right here.
and I'll tell you why I decided to do that. I have a lot of little spaces in this one. All of these are fairly small. All of these are small. This is small. These are small. I needed a bigger, this is a bigger space. This is a bigger space, but I needed something bigger over here. And I think that that corrected it. I like that much better with that black going off to the edge over there. You know, I am never, ever, 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 ever satisfied with my paintings. I'm going to do one thing. And that's that. Let's do that up here. Yipper. Let's do that over here. them up a little bit. Okay. I'm happy. Okay, a few close-ups. Just cleaning up. You can still see some of my lines that I put down earlier. And I'll give you some photos. 